Hi there, a very good morning and good afternoon to all of you and welcome to my channel Simply Stocks and today I'm going to talk about a defense company uh, the stock of which has come down uh, to reasonable levels at the moment and the company is set to grow at more than 70-80% that is what the management has talked about in terms of profitability so uh, we'll talk about this uh, so let's get started First of all, a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation. People taking any position to any share that I talk about should do that with their own due diligence and research. And I'm not in favor or against any company that I talk about. And also whatever trades that you take up and whatever investments or trading decisions that you take up, it's purely on your discretion. Uh, this is purely for educational purposes and entertainment purposes. And I only discuss about whatever my experience is into this market. I am not a BSc or NSC certified member and I am not a member of any of the stock exchanges and I am not certified to give advice with respect to portfolio etc. So kindly take that on note. Whatever we discuss here is purely uh, my opinions on particular uh, companies and stocks. So before I talk about this company, here's a small request that kindly support me on Patreon. Once you do that, help me grow the channel, help you also ask me questions and eke out answers in greater detail. Uh, once you get the $10 membership, you'll have access to my portfolio, my watch list and number of podcasts I put up from time to time. And also if you can pay $100 upfront, you get one year access by paying for 10 months. For detailed market or company talk, uh, you can directly email me and we can work things out with a fee. And also if you cannot pay on Patreon, you can become a member on YouTube. Or you can become a member on WhatsApp as well. WhatsApp membership is an annual membership. Uh, if you're ready for that, you can email me uh, for the same. And for YouTube, you can click on the join button and join on YouTube as well. So let me take you uh, to the screen of website and let's discuss about this company. The company in question is Amtar Tech at the moment. So in my opinion, uh, from the highs of 1870, 1875, the stock has declined appreciably. It is now trading at around 1600 levels. So if I calculate, uh, this is down somewhere around 15-20% uh, from the highs. And so it is looking extremely attractive, 16% uh, down from the highs. And from a three year perspective, I believe in the next three years, the market could scale 22,000, 23,000 on the Nifty. I think these kind of stocks are looking extremely good because the earnings will come through. Uh, so currently the stock is trading at a P of 53. It looks expensive, but at its peak, it was trading at 120, 130 times earnings. Uh, ROE is around 12% was is not that strong. Uh, but if you look at the kind of business that it is into, it is a very niche business with high barrier to entry. And that's why this, this stock looks good at these levels. So let's just discuss a little bit about uh, the business of the company. So basically Amtra Tech was established in 1970 and it is, the, it is in the business of manufacturing various machine equipment, assemblers, uh, sub-assemblers, etc. Uh, for the defense space and uh, it is more into the engineering, industrial and the defense space. They have 14% of their revenue that is coming from the nuclear segment. From space and defense, they have around 17% of the revenue coming. And uh, then you look at from the clean energy space, they have more than 6% of their revenue coming. And product and other spaces have around 6% revenue also. In terms of geographical split, uh, the company has been uh, uh, doing its business mostly here in India, uh, but also abroad as well. So domestic, uh, you can say uh, domestic sales account for around 40% of the total revenues and exports account for around 60% or 61% of the complete revenue at the moment. In terms of order book, it is pretty strong as of September 22. The company had an order book of around 1300 crores. It has swelled even more uh, by now. And the order book uh, is mostly divided into clean energy, uh, space defense and nuclear and uh, other products. So basically they are into very uh, high, you can say defense sensitive or government sensitive businesses. And so very hard to see any other company getting into it. That is the biggest, you can say, 
uh, selling point of the of this company and hopefully uh, the stock will maintain such high PE as it is maintaining at the moment because of this uh, currently the stock trades at 1600 uh, and if you look at the numbers if we go down and we look at the numbers we'll understand as to why I believe at 50 times earnings it looks attractive and not very expensive so if you look at consolidated numbers uh, of uh, mtar tech then we are in a situation where uh, in december quarter they did 160 crores of sales on a consolidated basis versus 100 crores in in you can say uh on 78 crores in december of uh, 21 and in terms of operating profit they did around 23 crores last year versus 45 crores this time around uh, with uh, you can say margins of 28 percent which has expanded uh, which has remained constant uh, throughout the last three uh, uh, two three years it it did expand a little bit uh, uh, during uh, 2020 and 21 but uh, at the moment the management believes uh, that uh, the margins will remain constant at around 28 to 30 percent so let's take it that the margins will remain around 28 percent I believe that uh, these kind of EPS growth and, and kind of profit growth that it is showing so it did around 31 crores of profit in December of 22 uh, versus 13 crores last year so it had a, a two and a half x growth in terms of profitability year on year I think this uh, quarter on quarter profit growth will continue uh, what we are not looking at at the moment is is the 21 or 20 numbers because of the fact that uh, because of the pandemic the numbers were up and down but i still believe that a growth of 50 to 60 percent is pretty much viable and what the management has talked about is the fact that they are going to grow at a 70 to 80 uh, percent over the next two years so Taking that into consideration, I think sales growth I'm talking about, taking, taking that into consideration, if we see here uh, 160 crores in December, if we say around 70-80% growth in, in March, then we are looking at 180 crores of sales in March. So that will comprise to around uh, 340 plus 220. This will be around 560 crores of sales uh, this year if we take 28 percent margin then we are looking at 157 uh, crores as operating profits uh, if we take uh, uh, say other income interest everything around so say if the other income it corresponds to around 13 crores or so for the year so that's 170 and interest burden is around uh, 13 uh, so we are back to 157 and depreciation amounts for around say around 19 crores or so 138 crores of uh, profitability could be possible uh, this year itself so 138 crores of profitability uh, this year which corresponds to an EPS of around uh, 45 46 rupees on this 46 rupees if I say that the company keeps on growing at 60 percent for the next two years then in fy24 i expect uh, the eps to grow to around 74 rupees based on that on on 74 rupees if i look at the stock price of 1600 the stock is trading at very very attractive levels of around 21 22 times and that is why i believe uh, that uh, the numbers that that, that this stock may not have a lot of downside even if the market go down another five six percent from here i think 1500 1450 is a strong support uh i won't be surprised if the stock trades at 50 times and you look at these uh numbers per se uh with around 74 rupees of eps uh, we are looking at a scenario where the stock could be trading at 4000 rupees in in 18 months 18 months to 24 months time when the market environment becomes even better so in my opinion mtar tech at these levels and on dips are good buy but you should have two to three year time frame it is not a short term trade or anything because if you look at the charts uh it doesn't look that great on a shorter term basis it's about to break in fact it has broken uh the 200 dma and we could see the stock go to as low as 1500 1510 as well so start accumulating over the next one or two months and even if you get a chance to buy at 1430 1440 buy more because this stock could easily double in the next two two and a half years 
for you to make money 3200 to 3500 is very much possible if you look at the balance sheet also uh the borrowings are not that great uh they have done 530 crores uh, in terms of reserves which is pretty strong uh, in terms of ratios the debtor days has increased a bit so that is a cause for concern a little bit that inventory days and debtor days have increased uh, but if you look at the shareholding pattern there as well FIIs have bought into uh, they have now 3.8 percent stake they had around 6.2 percent at the start of 22 but they reduced it uh, during the last one year but uh, again, they have increased the stake. Uh, DIIs have around 28% stake, which is, which is quite uh, decent compared to 23%, which they had a year back. So again, shareholding in terms of shareholding also, large investors are invested into the stock. So in my opinion, MTAR Tech buy at 1600, buy around 1500, 1450, uh, keep accumulating in this 10% range between 1600 to 1450. I think 3500 to 4000 is a possibility in the next two years on the stock uh, if the numbers continue to be the way they have been. So this is a video on MTAR Tech. Please like and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so you can get my video straight away when I post it. Kindly support me on Patreon. Thanks a lot for watching.